How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six, and welcome back to Lacuna. It is time to submit the data sheet. The data. Sector 2 incident, 1800, drove here. Time to hack our own place of work. <laughs> Let's go. Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed this all works out for the best. It's probably not going to, but, uh, who knows. Jesus. Why is this building so large? Saito. No, next one down. God damn it. He'll help me out, I know he will. Not this one, next one down. Fucking hell. <laughs> Why did you stop me on the roof? For Christ's sake. Saito. Saito? Hey Saito. Neil, hey, you're working late. Listen, there's something I need to talk to you about. Of course, what's the matter? Saito, I... I'm sorry. Sorry? For what? Is everything alright? No, it's not. My daughter... Laura was abducted and the people who took her won something from me. I need your help to get it for them. What? Laura was abducted? When? By whom? By a group of mercenaries. Shit, I'm so sorry, Neil. What's the CDI's plan of action? The CDI? What do you think those people would do if I told the CDI about it? But you didn't tell anyone else at the CDI? No, look, we don't have much time. The mercenaries want me to help them get the data back that they stole from the chief. They managed to create a backdoor to the CDI network. They can briefly alter the access rights to the folder they want from the CDI database. But they won't be able to retrieve it. That can only be done from a local computer. That's where you come in. You're a systems admin, right? You have to grant their request for full access to a specific folder you're not usually able to see. They'll pull all the data from the folder from, to your local drive, put it on a stick, and then give it to me. They made it clear it was not to be sent over the web. Okay, listen, I... Holy fuck. I'll bring them the data, then I'll get Laura back. Neil, you realise you can't trust these people, right? Why are you so convinced that they'll keep up their end of the bargain? If you want to save Laura, you have to ask the higher-ups at CDI for help. I don't know enough about these people. No chance the CDI will be able to track them down in time. The hack will get in in five minutes. If I don't hand them the data tonight, they might kill her. I have an idea. Once they open the folder they're after, I might be able to locate the source of the back door. We'll explain to the others what's going on, and we'll raid the location before the handover is scheduled. You'll have Laura back before they find out that we ever went through with the hack. If we do it that way, do we still get to retrieve the data in the folder? We won't need it. But if you can't trace them, and don't get the data, we have nothing. Fine, I'll accept the data transfer either way, I'll delete it if I'm able to tra trace the hack. I'll hand them over the data as planned, come on. No, that's too risky. I'll hand them the data as planned, they expect me in an hour. Please Neil, come to your senses. Those are criminals. You can't work with them. I'm not sure who's the bigger criminal here is. What are you talking about? You know what? Do what you think is best, but I won't be a part of it. Please don't make it complicated, Saito, I really need your help. Fine, let's steal the CDI. Okay, you're right. Let's tell the CDI. Okay, okay, good. I'm glad you agree. I'll find out what the location is, and then we call Gary. What is the data anyway? Why do they want it? I'm not sure. I, I don't have time to explain. Hey, Neil. I got your sheet. All ready on your end? Yeah, we're ready. Good. We're searching that folder now. I'll tell you when you have access. Alright, there we are. You're good to go. Okay, I think the site is retrieving the data. I got it. Good work. I'll see you at the handover. God damn, Neil. I got the location. Let's call Gary and the others. Thank you, Saito. Thank you so much. I'm calling Gary and the others. We have to prepare the raid. And we have to do it quick. Hold on, one last thing. What is it? There's no time to lose. Did you pull the data? I... What does it matter? Give it to me. Why? I have the location, Neil. We can go arrest them. You don't need it anymore. I did what you said, okay? I didn't go through with it. Please trust me, this is not a trick. I won't give the data to them. I just need to see what's on there. Please? Here, yeah, please don't do anything stupid. Thank you, don't tell anyone, okay? Let's call Gary and the others. Let's see. I think I got their HQ. It's inside an industrial zone on the fringes of the city. The company registered there called themselves call itself Rattlesnake Farming. It appears to be some sort of greenhouse? I assume it's just a front, maybe for money laundering. I still can't believe you didn't tell us earlier. 
What the hell were you thinking, Conrad? And how much information did you feed them about the CDI and about our ongoing investigations? Those people are criminals of the worst kind. Have you forgotten your oath? You'll face serious charges for this, Conrad. Could you please leave him alone, Gary? He's got enough on his plate right now. Or maybe you'd be in a better position if he told the CDI earlier. Or they would have shot Laura right away if they'd caught wind of it. We all had training in hostage negotiations and I'm sure Neil followed it as best he could. I really don't care about all that right now. Can we please focus on getting Laura out of there? I agree. We don't have time to waste. We should be at their HQ within the next hour. That's not a lot of time. Let's go and gear up then. Actually, I don't think it's a good idea for you to be there, Neil. You're not trained in extractions like this and I don't care if I get hurt. And more importantly, you're too close to the case. The risk that you do something irrational and endanger the whole operation is too high. I can't just stay here and wait. My daughter is in there. It's exactly the kind of attitude I'm worried about. I've been in contact with these people multiple times. They know me. Maybe I can convince them to cooperate. Listen, Neil. There's no more room for discussion. Conrad, Colroy, get yourselves armor and a gun. I have to call Kuma. You'll call. Copy that. Don't leave without me. I'll come with you. You will? Okay, we leave in 30. <sighs> Fuck. I couldn't pull a gun on Saito, I just couldn't do it. But we still got the information, right? I could still give it to them. Can I just leak it myself? Oh, we're going this way. Through the helicopter. No? This way? Ah, fingers crossed this goes well. I inserted the stick into my cell and opened up the folder. My heart was pounding. For a moment, it looked like the data wouldn't load, but then the files started appearing on the screen. Dozens, maybe hundreds of documents, messages, pictures, and videos. They were decades old, most of them dated 1799 or 1800. Their confidentiality level was one I'd never seen before. This was the type of data the Garian network would instantly pick up and trace, both to its receiver and back to its sender. It made sense to physically hand deliver it if one wished to remain anonymous. I didn't know where to begin, so I opened up the very first file in the list, the oldest one, with shaking hands. It was a document sent from someone at the Department of Commerce to the director of the CDI at the time, Emilia Thorne, now Attorney General in charge of the Justice Department. My eyes widened as I skimmed over the paragraphs. When I was done reading the letter, I checked the time. 20 more minutes. I sat down and opened up the second one, then the third. As the conversation went on, a plan was hatched between a handful of politicians, special interest groups from the private sector, and high-ranking members of the CDI. I didn't recognize most of the names. Some might have been pseudonyms. I stopped looking at the files halfway through and let my head sink onto the backrest. Even though they had used very careful language at first, the goal and purpose of the operation were abundantly clear. The failure of Sector 2 hadn't been an accident. Garians had plotted and engineered it to gain sole access to Drovia's resources and given its strategic importance at the time, ultimately retained supremacy over the solar system. My head was spinning while I tried to figure out what all of it meant for the present and for me. I had long doubted the integrity of the CDI. Was it still rotten to the core, or had things changed? I didn't know about any ongoing operations that were breaching interplanetary law, but then most agents at the time of the Sector 2 incident hadn't known either, and some of the things I did know about, I didn't want to think about them too much. Now what? On the one hand, the public had a right to know. The culprits had to be found and brought to justice. Reparations had to be paid to the affected families and businesses. On the other hand, if the truth came out, the liberators would win. Savient extremists might be emboldened enough to take control of the colony and declare independence. If that happened, Gara would send its ships, and New Joran might send theirs to back up their savient brethren, and to finally gain access to the planet's Telenium, of course, if their side won. Hundreds might die, thousands even time was running out. 
I tapped the contact of a journalist I had met a while back. I still hadn't made a decision when I heard the dial tone. The data would probably go through if I decided to send it, but there was no way in hell it wouldn't be traced back to me. My heart was pounding so loudly in my ears that I almost didn't hear the voice on the other end. Yes, it might be dangerous to hand it over, but at the same time, the people have a right to know and to make a decision based on that information. This is Adrian Bowley with the Gary and Gazette. How can I help you? Hello? Are you there? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm hanging up now. I have some information for you. Who is this? I can't tell you. I'm sending you a data package now. It's flagged and will be quickly picked up and traced by authorities. Your computer might be bricked. Back it up to an external drive as quickly as you can. Are you serious? Please confirm that you understand what I just said. I understand. Good. The public needs to know this. Promise me that it won't get buried. Well, I'll have to look at it first. Please. I may not have a second chance to send it out. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Okay. It's in your hands now. Conrad? Gary, uh... It's time. Let's go. Okay, coming. We go into jail after we get Laura back. Assuming we get Laura back. <laughs> I very much hope we get Laura back. Alright agents, I got the report from Nelson. The big greenhouse in front of us seems to be empty. However, the IR co cameras picked up 12 targets in an underground facility, hidden underneath. A scan for traps and explosives came back negative. Be careful regardless. We're going in on my command. Watch your back, and keep a low profile. These guys are dangerous and most likely armed. Use of deadly force is authorized. Getting the hostage out alive, and well, is our number one priority. You all know what she looks like. Miller, Johnson, you open up the front door. Once we're inside, we're looking for another door in the back. Watch out for hostiles from that point on. Okay, let's go. Move, move, move. Gary? I appreciate you backing me up earlier. Thank you. After what you did, it's only right you'd help us fix it now. Let's go get your girl. Save Laura. Let's do it. As long as she's alright, that's all that matters. This is going to get intense, man. Target's head. Open up and move in. Three targets. CDI, drop your weapons. Drop them now. Take cover! <laughs> you shot one of our guys, you assholes! Shit, that was loud. The rest of them will be waiting for us. May's been shot. Gordon, Flynn, provide first aid and see if you can get her out to the medics. Fuck. Ito, lock this room down. Keep an eye on those assholes. Get their guns and make sure they stay down. Someone comes through that door over there, you shoot. The rest of you keep moving. We can't give them any more time to prepare or get out. Follow me. Let's go. Opening up. In the final corridor, we passed by a large surgery room. I didn't think about it at the time, but that must have been where they had given Zora her new face and implanted Boyd's fake ID. The only thing I could think about was whether they'd moved Laura or done something to her the moment they'd heard us coming. The next room's a dead end. Expect resistance. All right. There she is. Drop those guns and we'll shoot. Who are you? What is this? CDI, put your weapons on the ground right now. Dad? Stay put, Laura. It's gonna be alright. Give us a minute to talk it over, okay? Oh, I see. It's about the girl. 
How about this? We handed it over to you, and you never show your faces here again. Sound fair? I don't think you understand. This facility is surrounded. It's over. Your only option is to cooperate right now. Alright, we'll cooperate. But we'll kill the girl first. No. No? And it sounds like you're getting everything you want. That's not how negotiations work. Shooting a child will do nothing but worsen your prospects on trial. Come on, we both know I'm fucked regardless. We'll take you out if you make the wrong move. It doesn't have to be that way. So what you're saying is there are any, are any chances to fight? You should have cooperated, Neil. I'm sorry, Laura. No! She was gonna shoot Laura? Take cover. Go, fall back. Get her out of here. I'll cover you. Will you be alright? I'll be fine. Go, go, go. We good, we good. We're out of here. We got this. We got you, Laura. I'm passing you, Laura. I'm too fast. I'm just too fast. <laughs> and that's it. The most tumultuous days of my life, and possibly in Garian history. Abbott Dyson has been charged with interplanetary terrorism, first degree murder, and more that would put a normal person away for multiple lifetimes. Unfortunately, he is one of the world's most influential billionaires, and as it stands now, he isn't going to prison for more than a few years. It is rumored that he's putting someone else in charge of his company for the time being, and will be allowed back at his post after serving his sentence. With their mastermind unmasked, at least it's safe to say that the Liberators won't ever make another appearance. Even though Dyson and Cox each lost a lot in the Sector 2 incident, I don't believe their actions were really driven by a righteous thirst for revenge. No. Almost all the people who have suffered and might still suffer from their actions had nothing to do with Gaara's past crimes. Ultimately, Dyson had tried to start an interplanetary war in hopes of increasing his profit margins. And he might still succeed in it. Yeah, did we actually start a war? How's that gonna go? The data I leaked sent a shockwave through the solar system. The source of the leak was quickly discovered, and the CDI not only fired me on the spot, but also tried to scrub me from their records and made all sorts of claims to discredit me. The Garian state scrambled to spin the narrative on the Sector 2 incident, but the data was authentic and unambiguous. Forty years ago, the Saviant colony on Drovia had been sabotaged in a secret operation initiated by a handful of Gyara's top politicians, economic elites, and the CDI under the leadership of Amelia Thorne, now Attorney General and leader of the Gyarian Department of Justice. It became clear to me why she had tried to hide the data, fired the chief when he got too close, and ordered the arrest of Alfred Cox when she realized who he was. She is currently awaiting trial, along with a number of mostly retired politicians who were implicated in the conspiracy. At least we took all the bastards with us. Even though we went down, they went down too. And we didn't even go to jail, we just got fired. That's alright. Could be worse. And Laura's alive. Laura is free again, and seems to be doing okay. But I wonder, every day, about the scars this experience has left behind. Even though I know I'm not directly to blame, I will never forgive myself for inadvertently dragging her into all this. As for me, I am free again, as free as I was before, but my life is forever changed. Catherine and I are dating again, however crazy that sounds. Things are so different now. The world is so different that maybe something good can come of it again. So, no war then, yet. Good. Finally, Zora. There was a moment when I thought she might have changed. I saw hesitation in her eyes. Or maybe it was all in my head. Despite everything she had done, her death upset me. It took the CDI a while to find out anything about her previous life. Turns out her name used to be Elizabeth Davis. 
She and her friend Boyt had been picked up by the mercenaries as teenagers on the run. Both of them came from affluent Garian families, and both had been reported missing, presumed dead. When they burned her body, Zora's parents were the only ones there besides me. As I stared into the flames, I wondered what her life could have been. Must have been awkward standing next to his next to her parents. You're the one who killed her. <laughs> you know? Late in the and that's it. Now, I imagine this has a lot of different ways it can all play out, but I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, that game was good shit, man. That was really good. Really like it. Short and sweet. Great story. Like it. I really like the investigation gameplay. Many more games with the way that that investigation was done. Where they give you all the all the bits and pieces and you have to figure it out. That's brilliant. Really good. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know if you want to see more of the game or whether we should move on from here. I know there's a lot coming up in the next uh, month or so. That we definitely need to cover, so. But thank you the developer for sending your key over. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking it out with me and I'll see you in the next one. So we stand here in the end, we're out of love. Want to try again, but the stars don't give a fuck. Will it have matter? There a cause? Will it return or will it be lost? So we stand here in the end. We're out of love. Want to try again? Stars don't give a fuck as we stand here.